Hello you guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today I'm talking to you guys about my fall capsule wardrobe. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Annie. I do mostly minimalist content, lifestyle, my ideas, and minimalist fashion, which is something I really love and live by. I've been working on a con the concept of a capsule wardrobe for the better part of 10 years now, so I really hope you guys enjoy this video, get some inspiration from it, and learn from my mistakes if you're working on your own capsule wardrobe. In my fall capsule wardrobe, I have about five sweaters I consider daily use sweaters, two pairs of jeans, a pair of neutral trousers, a pair of darker pants or black jeans. I have like a going out type of dress, two casual sweater dresses, two types of jackets that I wear all fall, and a couple pairs of shoes, all of which I will show you guys in detail as we go along. I do rotate my pieces and go shopping during the year, but a lot of my pieces are oldies and goodies, so I will try to link whatever I can find or what's similar in the description box below. I've done a winter, a spring, a summer capsule wardrobe. I've also done an accessories capsule separately. So after this video, you'll basically know everything that I own. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you can stay notified for when I upload new videos. So let's start with showing you the pieces themselves. Okay, so for my sweaters, this is the category that I probably have the most number of pieces in. I'm based in New York City, so the weather is a little bit colder than some places, and I am just a sweater girl. So let's start with which sweaters I have and why I have them. So the first essential sweater that I have is a tunic length. In the fall and winter, I personally don't like to wear tops with leggings that don't cover a little bit of your bum. So a tunic length sweater is essential for me. The neckline on this sweater is really what gets me. I love this kind of like drop shoulder, like this like mock turtleneck, which I really think is flattering. Um, a knit like this is really kind of understated and really, really versatile. It adds that little bit of coziness, which is what we're looking for in these colder months. I showed you guys this sweater in my winter capsule for sure, and maybe even my spring capsule. But this is an oldie and a goodie. Another workhorse sweater in my closet. I like to have at least one sweater in my closet that feels a little dressier to me. Something that can go with a pair of trousers and heels and be like a, a really nice dinner look but also look nice for the office. You can also wear it with jeans. It's something that is super important for a functional wardrobe for me. So for that I love this Aritzia sweater for the past two years I've been obsessed. What I think is so great about this particular sweater is A, the material. It's super soft, really high quality, really slinky. When you put it on and it feels loose, but also it looks loose when you wear it. This one is, I wouldn't say it's a crop sweater. I think it falls right at the hip, which is a really versatile cut for me, I think, because I like the looser, cropped-ish feeling, but I also want to be able to tuck the sweater into trousers if I'm trying to dress it up. I also have a another sweater that I like having two dressier sweaters or sweaters that I can dress up easily because I find them to be year over year classics. I've had this black sweater for I don't know almost five years now. This to me is this like uber chic, you no know, hair in a bun, red lipstick, trousers and heels look that I love. But also it's something I put on over like a knitted midi dress and make another outfit that way entirely. So I guess basically just having a couple different options for dressy sweaters, one thinner, one thicker, one light, one dark, I think really makes your wardrobe really versatile and really functional. The next sweater that I have is the opposite of neutral. I think for every wardrobe, there should be at least one or two pieces that really just make you happy and make you feel bright. I've had this red chunky knit sweater in my closet for two or three years now. It's a cropped bright red turtleneck that's just the coziest material ever. It's something that when I put on, I feel instantly bright, instantly festive, um, and just adds like a pop of color to an otherwise pretty neutral wardrobe. I think that even with a minimalist wardrobe, there are places for, for warmth and brightness, and this is mine. And then the last daily wear sweater piece for me is a fitted neutral turtleneck. For me, it's pretty fixed that I'm going to have a fitted taupe, beige, brown, tan color turtleneck in my wardrobe every year. It's such a really great layering piece. I love wearing a fitted tan turtleneck by itself, tucked into a pair of high-rise jeans, but I also love layering this. 
underneath other tops, underneath other sweaters, um, underneath a, like a more fitted coat. I think a top like this is just super versatile. I love it tucked into a skirt. I think it's a really good look with a lot of different pieces. So for dresses, I basically have one dress every season and my dress for this season is a knit, like jersey knit dress. I love this dress because it's very fitted to the body. It's something like a bodycon dress, but it's long sleeve, which I really love. And it's a midi length. I think this dress has lasted me for so many years because of how versatile it is. It's a really deep, low v-neck dress, which is really sexy date night look. Um, but what I love about this too is that I often turn the dress backwards so that the deep v is in the back. I love a dress that serves many purposes, like that's the theme of all of this. So even though it's a going out dress, also that it can be layered underneath turtlenecks. So it's not just sitting in the closet waiting for a special occasion. I almost always have a sweater dress that I'm wearing each fall. I finally realized how much I wear a sweater dress, so I decided to get two sweater dresses this fall. They're arriving today, so I'm not exactly sure what they look like on, but I'll give you guys a little look. I got these both from H&M. I'll try them on for you guys and insert the clips here. I think a sweater dress is just such an easy, mindless, um, and cute full outfit to wear during the fall. I love to throw on a sweater dress with a pair of sneakers or with a pair of boots. I'm actually on the hunt for some, some new boots this year. If I'm gonna get a, a whole piece like a sweater dress, I love to get a neutral color. I just feel like it's easier to get away with wearing it over and over and over. Moving on to pants. I have two pairs of jeans like I mentioned. Both would be a light to medium wash. I'm not much of a dark wash jean kind of person, but it's the fits that I think are really important to have two different kinds. So I like one that is really casual, really loose and comfortable. For me, my go-to has always been the Levi high loose jean. I haven't found a jean more comfortable or more flattering on me than these jeans. I love the light wash, it's so lived in. The looseness around the leg, it's super, super comfortable. I could literally sleep in these jeans, but they look really nice not sleeping in them, obviously. And then the second pair of jeans that I like to have are one that's a little bit more structured. So I think it's important to have a pair of jeans that plays a little better with dressing up items. And if I had to choose one, I think I would choose the medium structured jean, but I think both are important in their own ways pants or trousers. A neutral trouser is just a must for me these days. I love a neutral trouser both for professional settings but more and more for casual setting with a cozy sweater, with a fitted turtleneck, even with a t-shirt I think. Um, there are lots of different places and spaces. This pant for me is from and other stories. I think it's a really good pant. Um, it's a really good price point for the quality, I think, and I just love it, so let's move on. The last pair of pants in my capsule wardrobe is a darker pant. Whether it's a, like a black trouser or a black jean, I think just having one pair of dark pants is a must in a minimal capsule wardrobe. I like a structured culotte, one that kind of adds a little bit of flair to an outfit that is really high rise, very, can be made very edgy, but can be dressed up really, really nicely and easily as well with a pair of heels. I will link some alternatives down in the description box because this is a really old pair that you won't be able to find depending on your personal lifestyle. If you don't need to dress up a lot or don't find yourself wearing trousers, I think a black jean is a great substitute. For outerwear, I have two pieces. I have this one trench. This is a new in piece for me. This is a really super oversized long trench. I've been loving the look of a super long trench with a lot of different outfits for this fall. The trench coat is such a classic fall spring piece. I think it's something that you will use for years and years and years. This jacket is really nice because you want you want to make sure a jacket that you have is waterproof, water resistant, really comfortable, um, keeps you covered from the rain, and a really long oversized jacket like this really does it for me. The other jacket that I have for fall is a light down puffer. For the fall, I just love this like rust orange color. It just reminds you of the leaves and pumpkins and um, this jacket I got from Free People. I love a jacket like this to throw on over like a sports bra, over a t-shirt, over a sweater like this when you're just gonna go run out. If I didn't do a puffer, I'd probably, I might do a denim jacket, I might do a leather jacket, it's up to you for me. 
and my lifestyle, a sportier puffer just is what I gravitate towards. And I've been loving this jacket so much. For more sporty items, I have, I always like to have in my capsule wardrobe a logo sweatshirt. You see I'm right now wearing a neutral logo sweatshirt from the Museum of Modern Art. Logo sweatshirts are something that I tend to wear a ton. And I think a lot about a minimalist capsule wardrobe is knowing what you gravitate towards. I have this one, like I mentioned from the MoMA. This is in a men's medium. I love an oversized logo sweatshirt, something you can wear nicely over leggings, um, but also wear with a pair of jeans and wear it with a pair of pajama shorts, wear it with a pair of sweatpants. Um, I think a logo sweatshirt can do a ton of things. I would, I would even consider wearing this with like a pleated or skater skirt if I was a skirt person. One more top that I have is an oversized hoodie. I feel like an oversized hoodie is just essential. I don't know if that's the same for everybody, but I have a black oversized hoodie that's super comfy, super warm, super cozy. I'll link all the details below, but I tend to like an oversized hoodie in general. The very last category I want to talk you guys through are shoes. I think shoes are a super important part of every capsule wardrobe. And for the fall, there are a few pairs I wear on repeat. The pair of, of shoes that I break out really quickly in the fall are my ultra mini Uggs. I have them in the chestnut color and I've been wearing them non-stop. Kind of a cuter look to dress up with with other pieces, with jeans, with sweatpants, leggings, whatever whatever you're going for. Um, I can't recommend the ultra mini enough. They, they're just really cute. I decided this year to combine a couple of boot needs and just go for the Doc Martin winter grip boots. This is the combat style. A combat boot is really classic, really easy to wear with a lot of different outfits. A style that hasn't gone out for many, many years. And just in like the spirit of minimizing my pieces and like making more room in my closet, I decided to get the winter grip boots. It's easy for me to wear in the rain and also in the snow when the time comes last pair of shoes that I think is really nice in a capsule wardrobe are a pair of stilettos whether that's a stiletto boot or a heel something that looks nice with trousers something that dresses up an outfit really functional for like a full lifestyle wardrobe I am looking for a like knee high or over the knee stiletto boot I'm looking for a boot that's particularly in like a dark brown color I have a couple like ideas in my brain about how I want to wear them. Um, as a minimalist, I kind of hate buying things that seem a little trendier or that I don't have a lot of experience wearing, but I've thought of so many ways to wear it that I'm curious to see if you guys think I should get it or not. So I'll put that down below and you let me know. Okay, so that is everything that is in my fall capsule wardrobe. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll leave all of my links that I can find in the description box below. And as usual, if you have any comments, if you have any suggestions, leave them down below. I love chatting with you guys. Reminder, if you like this video, to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up and tell me what you like, what you think, what you're doing with your own capsule wardrobe. I'm always so interested to hear. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.